It was a dry, dusty road, perhaps not unlike this one where the story unfolded. A man traveling to a distant city was surprised by a band of thieves. They beat him, stripped him of all he had, and left him to die in the hot desert sun. At least two men passed by without stopping to help. I wonder what went through their minds as they looked down upon that poor soul struggling for his life. They were both religious men. I wonder if they remembered the commandment of the Lord to Moses. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There were many excuses, of course, not to stop. It was dangerous after all. The same thieves who waylaid the stranger might be returning. It was inconvenient, certainly, and the men were probably terribly busy, and so they passed him by. But a third man who undoubtedly had similar concerns and pressures, a Samaritan, had compassion on him. He stopped, bound up the man's wounds, and gave him something to drink. Not only did the Samaritan relieve the man's present suffering, but he took him to an inn and paid in advance to keep him there while he recovered. When the Savior told the parable of the Good Samaritan, he was speaking of a man like himself, a man who walked among the poor and the downcast, the abandoned and the despised among men. Christ lived not to be ministered unto, but to minister, not to receive, but to give, not to save his life, but to pour it out for others. As followers of Jesus Christ, we believe that when we help others, we're doing what Jesus Christ would himself do were he on the earth today. Throughout the world, we reach out to others who suffer. We care for others because it is what the Savior wants us to do. When people act on their desires to help others, something wonderful happens in their own lives. They feel a little happier, a little more compassionate, a little more understanding a little more at peace. We are pleased to join with others throughout the world in our commitment to relieve suffering and foster self-reliance. Caring for the needy transcends religious, racial, and political bounds. We don't have to do things that shake the world. All we have to do is take the weary hand, make the wet eyes dry, and awaken within ourselves a desire to reach out to others around us. As we do so, we stand at the side of the Samaritan, willing to help those in need in the Savior's way.